For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter whose praise is not of men, but of God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Is He the God of the Jews only? Is He not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. For the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Behold therefore the goodness and severity of God, on them which fell severity, but toward the goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shalt be cut off. O oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out! And be not conformed to this world, 
But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel not where Christ was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. 